Um, and I have recordings of the Piazza of Mozart and ABC on my channel, Kathy Williams 76. I also have a website, kathywilliams76.com, um, which has my very own clarinet manual, as well as all my videos on Kathy Williams 76. And for the first time on YouTube, I'm recording mini masterclasses of all two of the Rosé 72 etudes, 10 to 15 minute masterclasses <laughs> on um, each etude. I've done nine so far. That's good, but now we only have one left. And also, I feel sure, I feel like, <laughs> oh my goodness, hard yeah, can music. I, yeah, can I yes, you talk can. about the sure Mio? Um, Mio actually wrote a couple of pieces for Benny Goodman. I have a Benny Goodman theme because I did a Benny Goodman concert last week with Mitchell, uh, the Gould Derivations and the Copenhagen Cello, which are also on YouTube. Um, and I was actually going to do this piece too, the Mio Concerto for Clarinet and Orchestra, which was written for Benny Goodman, but Benny never played it. Oh. <laughs> and uh, an interesting thing about this piece, it's hardly ever performed because I will show you, this is just the first, this is just the first movement. I'm and sit down. This, is the sit down. <laughs> this is the first movement and those two bars are the only rests in it. That's the first movement. So this piece is hardly ever played because there isn't a rest in it. Um, and the second movement is um, staccato. So Can we turn the aircon off for two minutes? Yeah, my, my clarinet's probably dreadfully. Yeah. Speaking of rests. <laughs> Good. So I'm just hoping that you can help me bring out more musicality. I'm a person who practices a hell of a lot of technique. So I'm quite happy to sit down and practice uh, staccato for three quarters of an hour. Um, or sit down with the entire BMR Division 3 and play it from beginning to end. So um, I think I fall down sometimes in musicality because I'm just so obsessed with the technique of it. And I know you need in a piece like this to be obsessed with technique because it is very technically difficult, but I think there's a lot of music in there. I find French music as a whole very witty um, and a little bit quirky, um, and that's very evident in Scaramouche. And I can't wait to hear it. So let's take it from number five. Mitchell, thank you. That's Quaver. And it says live. That's, that's the one marking on this. Yeah, that's one marking. Okay, but I, I, it's not an indicating sample of character, right? Consistency in rhythm, 
Okay, so that we're going to play these semiquavers the same way every time. And a lot of times the, the well, or the orchestra is actually subdividing. And when he does, you're spot on. And when he doesn't, it's not always as consistent with those. So, so I'm going to recommend a little bit more um, consistency on, on the rhythm. And we're going to work on some of these four schlags, these grace notes beforehand, and, and how they relate to the notes before them, and uh, how it can be so accurate that the audience will know exactly what's going on. So they have to do dictation, they'll know. Well, one thing we're going to start with is after 15. One, yes. two, three, four. How's that? Can we do that? Just to see how this goes. I'm looking at things like this relationship. Okay? Okay, what you have is a situation where you have semiquavers, and then you have these grace notes, these little four schlags following them. So it's, I find these things very, very challenging when I face that because I have to justify he's writing them in a different way. He doesn't want them just the same way, he wants them faster or slower or different. I'm okay. almost, I'm playing the piece for this one here almost on the beat. I think that's how I've been approaching it. Yeah, it's a Okay, can you just do that one more time for me, please? The, if you want to do it on the beat, I'm not going to say you can't, but then it always has to be the notes. same way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and um and and now it's clearer to me than when you But I, I kind of want to do it a little bit differently because we're also doing it in the bar before. Well, sure. And me. I'm See, for me, I, I, I see this, okay? Okay, and when I hear it... That's what I want to do. You don't want the key, it to be an important note. The, the, um, the long note, the... Uh, sorry. <laughs> the, 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 you want to back off of it? Let's hear the melody. 
Um, Shall we press on? Sure. <laughs> you, why don't you play a spot that you'd like to play in particular? Last week, Mitchell hadn't seen it either. <laughs> I'd only seen it a couple of weeks before. <laughs> but he'll, he'll be fine. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. Actually, why don't we go to the bar before? Yeah, the end of 51. Forte. 
Consistently, and I can't remember, it was right in here going above the break. We were getting a, an undertone, and I felt oh, that the okay. register key was a little, little, little oh, sluggish. Okay, yeah. and, and just because it's a fast note, we in our mind we put a tune over it and, and make sure let's just try that for two bars, please. Uh, 56? Which is only 55. Okay, 55. So you heard it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, I will hear it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try it, just try it. But it's not, I think this needs to come down a little quicker <coughs> than the other notes. See, this isn't the bit I practiced. <laughs> you know, it's sort of... It's so fair. now we're going to practice it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you think, oh, you know, because you've just, you've just gotten through this, and you think, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I think... Are we out of time, did you say? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry. Okay, Thank bravo, you. yeah, bravo. Very nice. <laughs> You, you know, he has a website. Just uh, okay. in, fact, in fact, you can, you know, if you just search me on on YouTube, it's on there somewhere. You'll get his I think name and the title. Somehow, but oh, okay, good. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah. I googled you. What's that? I googled you. Oh no. <laughs> you have to leave, sir. Pleasure. Great to meet Floyd Williams. Yeah. Great to see you. No. <laughs> He's sending me pictures of snakes, they're terrifying. <laughs> 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 <laughs>